Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we got Bonneth starting as the yellow Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we got DeWalt as the black Protoss. This is Fighting Spirit Mania once again. And DeWalt on the precipice of another, <laughs> of facing another best of seven. I believe the way they, they, again, if I didn't mention it earlier, or if you didn't see the video where I mentioned it earlier, I believe the way they peeled this out to make it a little bit more manageable is they did like a best of seven a week. Uh, so kind of over time, and I think that's actually as sets shift where you see a lot of the momentum changing as well uh, here and there. So basically we play one best of seven, wait a week, play another best of seven. So so in theory, so okay. So it took seven a month and a half for them to play up to this point potentially, depending on scheduling issues and whatnot. It is possible, I, I should go back and look at like the raw dates, but I'm guessing it was about, I think it was about one a week uh, as far as my calculations go. Which, if you map that out to the entirety of this tournament and pretend that... I wonder if... I still wonder who played the most raw games in this entire thing. It's absolute insanity. I guess Mania is, in fact, in the title. Bonneth looking like he wants to set up to go for a two-gate once again. DeWalt also looking like he's staging up for a two-gate. This is going to be cute because I think they're both going to go for a cross-map scout here. And as a result, they're both going to know each other's position because of uh the pro positioning if they're paying attention oh this what we're gonna use bonnet's point of view for this actually are they gonna is the timing just slightly off the timing is slightly off how close was that never mind i take it back dewalt went to bottom right hand corner first so because uh pathing to the bottom right instead is gonna end up a little bit later this probe making its way and i'm wondering if actually if this is going to lead Bonneth to scout north initially and DeWalt looks like okay he's going to now go for cross map to the upper left seeing the positioning of that probe so he's going to be able to get a little bit of an earlier so in this situation an interesting okay never mind that gate further forward but it looks like DeWalt instead opting to go the one zealot uh, the, the one uh, blah 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 gateway <laughs> assimilator zealot pylon rather than going for the two gate which was a little bit expecting a little bit more the probe walks its way up takes some damage it can still hold on the forward front to wait to see if there's going to be three zealot dedication unfortunately for bon okay he is dropping the gas behind this but didn't get uh and i think he still is going to want to run forward with these initial three zealots usually you want like a vertical or horizontal spawn and i think they're equal timed dewalt now recognizes the attacks incoming and I think this is the build he's got where, yeah, where if he's unsure, he builds the three zealots himself and ends up in an okay position. So he delays the cybernetic score, gets the three zealots out in the field. And I think this is also kind of a, a half response to um, specifically what Bonneth does, where he only dedicates the initial three rather than going for more. The probe actually sidling in after the fact, but he does want to hang around long enough to see if additional zealots are dedicated to this because that's kind of the threat sometimes is if you don't have that information and you're not able to go up and prove bonnet still trying to make his way and wants to try to shove it oh and actually takes more damage on his elf than he wanted to a fourth sell it queued up and a second interesting and uh i'm wondering if bonnet sees that fourth sell it and thinks oh actually this was a two gate opposite side well it is going to be a second gateway now interestingly enough range by the way queued up earlier from DeWalt, but I'm wondering what Bonneth is going to think of that. Pylon on that back edge. Probe's still alive, by the way, here for DeWalt. So still able to, to hang around. Two Dragoons have been queued up. The Zelts are going to turn around, and DeWalt with the mental timing on that build order just going to walk right back out. See if these four... Okay, the four Zealots making their way to that natural expansion. So four Zealots and a Dragoon versus three Zealots and two Dragoons. That would be... It would be kind of dicey a little bit spicy to try to depress that attack. I don't know that that's going to happen here. Instead, I presume both players are going to go ahead and sit back and go for an expansion. And I'm expecting... Well, see if Bonneth goes for it a little bit earlier than DeWalt. Looks like DeWalt... Or sorry, that Bonneth is opting for Robotic Support Bay instead. A single Dragoon, actually... That, that single Dragoon wandered its way forward to check the number of Dragoons on Bonneth's side. And these two Dragoons need to be very, very careful. Because this robotics facility was before range. And Bonneth is range just now queued up. And they're going very deep in enemy territory. 
in smaller numbers. I guess they're going to be able to check that natural expansion, so he knows the timing of it. But they went very, very deep and took a little bit of damage there. So never mind. Ignore me. Bonneth just knows the timings of these builds. I feel like range could have been finished there, though, if it was like one gate range. Anyway. Dewalt also going to go... So it ends up being a mirrored build overall, but the robotics slower for Dewalt, faster range, and I think it's still going to be a... I still have a feeling it's going to be a faster Nexus for DeWalt. We'll have to see overall. 12 o'clock base just getting checked out. Third gate. So this is turning into a three gate OBS with a very late range. I guess it kind of works out because with three gate, you kind of want to wait a minute anyway. To You need to wait for that gateway to kick in to where you get a superior Dragoon count over your opponent. By good measure. Probe walking out. Ugh, gonna get information. And is he gonna lose his life? No, does not lose his life. DeWalt making his way out. And he might have a portion of attack here before, again, before Bonneth's range is kicked in. I think he just wants to force a fight to confirm the natural expansion or not. Yeah, so making his way in. Might see the sliver of that observer. Sees no natural expansion and has to know that gas has gone somewhere. Does he recognize that he has, he has the range advantage though? I think he does. And so he's gonna continue to sit and fight. And this is actually pretty significant. Yeah, because he can get the free shots off. And so now that late range... Yeah, all those Dragoons getting peeled back. That late range really hurting Bonnet now. And DeWalt getting good measure. So now it's two Dragoons... Although at close... As I say that, at close reinforcements. And the Zealots getting on top of the Dragoons, uh, able to clear out. But did the probe... I don't know that the probe walked up. I think he's uh, DeWalt also has to recognize that it's probably three gate in the space of this. Yeah, he has dropped a third gateway. In the midst of this, he's also got that first Reaver queued up. The Observer now making its way down for Bonneth. And as I thought, DeWalt was going to get that faster expansion. No, it is in fact Bonneth at the 7 minute mark. You know, the, the, the fast uh, Protoss Nexus that you always see at the 7 minute mark. Um, but at the same time, with some of those Dragoons wiped away, I am curious if Bonneth is... Well, never mind. Answered his own question. He's going to answer my own question. He's going to go ahead and make his way out. Now... Three gate over. Let's see kind of the count. So he's going to be up, I think, two dragoons here. By the time he makes, uh, by the time he makes his way over, maybe one, and he's going to be down a reaver at the forward position. That reaver can be all the difference. It just depends on positioning whether it gets sniped or not. That reaver can really, again, negate. Ooh. Observer gets picked off. Barrel. Okay, no, stays alive on that edge. But Bonneth with the aggression on the corner, I think he's mostly doing this to posture to make sure that DeWalt stays back, actually, particularly with that shuttle. And that's uh, going to delay. Is that going to delay the Nexus? Okay, Nexus coming down a full minute later. So it's going to be a much faster Nexus for Bonneth. So Bonneth in a good economic position in the space of this and now drawing that army back. Just hovering that observer over no man's land. Maybe for potentially to get... To see a shuttle, that's not usually the shuttle exit route, but maybe to open up and say, hey, maybe I can do a drop down the line with my own shuttle and reaver, although I haven't seen any motions to go for speed. Second gas tacked on already. And this base uh, saturated already. And so Bonneth now has kind of a window. He hasn't dropped additional gateways as of yet, but he is going to end up with a stronger economy and more workers overall. DeWalt starting to fan his way out. Defensive pylon... Scouting pylon at the 9 o'clock location. That's a good word for it. I think Baba Mott suggested that. Shout out to him. In Twitch time. The Reaver gonna pop his way. Sorry, the two Reavers gonna pop their way forward. And the explosion still lands. And with those Reavers at the forward position, actually. The Walt stepping into this. I'm not sure I like this engagement, though. Trying to get on top of that Reaver. Was able to wipe out that shuttle. Two versus one. Is losing troops. Yeah, DeWalt's supply just absolutely plummeting in the space of this. I'm not sure why he... I think he just underestimated the amount of troops that would be on the ground. And now I think this is going to just be Bonnet's win because he can just walk into these Dragoons, snipe this Reaver at the six o'clock and potentially wipe out that Nexus on the low ground. Yeah, doing a, a full run attack and he's got the worker advantage. So he doesn't even need to commit the, to this attack. So is there, there even a second Reaver? No, not even a second Reaver. So that Reaver... Okay, focusing the Dragoons initially... Healing them out, doing some nice spread. That's forcing workers off the line, so that's just going to be more economic damage now. Uh, done. And uh, now that Reaver wiped out. And this is workers that are pulled off. And this is just continuing the economic dominance here for Bonus. So 
I could see DeWalt fighting this out for a while, but right now it's looking like a massive Bonneth advantage. Gonna go ahead and draw back now. And got everything spotted. This uh, observer sees the bad news of more workers potentially gonna fan out. Or more uh, Dragoons probably gonna fan out, meet at the natural expansion. Eight. Oof. Okay, so minus, minus 11. Uh, which puts it <laughs> as the numbers change. Minus 13 uh, puts it at 60. So 10 supply worker or t 10 supply army lead still in the space of all that. Plus he's got a shuttle up and that Reaver getting picked out of that fight immediately. Yeah, Bonnet not even, not even blinking. Just going to go in with the rest of this attack. And it, I'm waiting for that Reaver to just get a shot on if he just lobs a shot towards that natural expansion, yeah, he can just draw back, reposition. I think he can get to the south before. And, nope, never mind. Not going to risk it. I think he could have. Fast maneuver there by DeWalt. Going to go ahead and grab his second gas. But um, with that, actually, kind of an army swap, and at least the raw army is more equivalent. But the problem is, is Bonneth is in a situation where he can, yeah, just keep. He's gone up to six gate. He can just keep tossing the troops out. And DeWalt just economically isn't going to be able to keep up in the space of it. Although DeWalt does, in fact, have six gateways himself. I think that's the that's smart play. Observer taking some tax of damage. This re these Reavers have just been getting picked off left and right. That second shot, yeah. Instantly wiping it out. It looks like the shuttle has been picked off opposite side. So yeah, Bonnet's just constantly walking up, doing, making sure he's not getting total, total horrendous failures of trades and recognizing that eventually what's going to happen in the space of this is DeWalt is uh, going to defold. Is he going to pull probe? He might even get a couple extra probes in the space of this. Yeah, going to get a couple probe hits and make his way back, which I think is the smart way to do this when you know you're in an economic lead. When you know you have a dominant economic lead and also the observer is also going to be able to spot things as they're making their way out. The thing is DeWalt can't rebuild any of his observers because he needs to make sure he's got reavers and shuttles out here in the field with whatever he's got. Trying to put some defensive pylons in the space of this. Also, Bonneth uh, adding to that economic advantage by going ahead and grabbing that 12 o'clock. We have a hit force of Dragoons spreading out to get the quick snipe on that Reaver again. And again, able to get it done. They're just going to walk out from here, I bet. Yeah. Get the snipe worth two. Would have been worth three Dragoons, honestly, but worth the two. We're still worth the three. I'm going to just draw back regardless. And DeWalt now in a situation where I don't even know well let's see if he he's gonna go ahead and try to make his way to seven gates if he went to eight gateways maybe but even then I don't know especially his plus one weapons just about to finish speed shuttle with a reaver still in it making its way out so and it looks like it's gonna be able to get a drop now at the natural expansion Bonneth smothering he wants this victory now oh huge hit to Dropping DeWalt to 28 workers. That was a massive shot. And drawing in, picking off a Zealot on the corner. Plus one weapon, still not complete. Nice drawback. Another Reaver Scarab. Looks like there was just attack of damage. Unfortunately, DeWalt had a few too many of his troops drawing back. Well, actually, maybe getting a little bit of bonus there. So, again, deduct 20. Army's about the same. But it's just a much larger economy. Observer finally got picked off. On that forward field, is DeWalt uh, able to find some space to build Missouri? He's got a Reaver way out there. Yeah, DeWalt having to move out to just protect that Reaver. Trying to pick off that other Observer. Finally able to do so. But this is as that 12th o'clock base. We saw, you can see on the mini-map, the probes saturating up there. Bono, two Reavers versus one, and that Reaver isn't covered by a shuttle on the bridge line. I think this is going to be, I think this is GG right here. Because that Reaver's... Okay, both Reavers got picked off, so maybe not. But still, plus one weapon's finished. Salt leg speed is finished. Walt's backed into his natural expansion. Uh, with some micro, Bonneth will be able to finish this out. But even with not, that he's still going to be able to drain DeWalt of resources. Keep him occupied where he can't really sneak out and get anything on the map to utilize a counterattack. These Dragoons just picking off the workers now at that natural... And yeah, things just looking absolutely awful now for DeWalt. It's kind of the night. This is honestly feels like the grindstone method where if you've ever seen like a Nokia phone or something along those lines where they get the grind belt and they just slowly press it in and it slowly 
whittles away. That's kind of what this match is looking like. Uh, Psystorm is upgrading for Bonneth in the background. He's already got that 12 o'clock up. Has some defensive cannons on top of everything else. And DeWalt, yeah, just about to mine out of his main. And it was already transferring workers to his natural expansion. His natural expansion actually still is plush with resources. Uh, but it's still going to be two base versus one base mining. Which, I, again, I think it's four gateways and like observers out of robotics. Which you can produce off of that. Pylon block. Uh, also up to 12 o'clock. So it would just be Zelts and not Dragoons. So I think it's just kind of... I almost want to times two this. I'm going through the motions right here. DeWalt starting to walk his way forward. So it looks like we are going to go to a game seven. Barring an absolute miracle. I don't know what a miracle would look like here. It would look like Bonneth actually moving his army and not A moving his army. I think that's what it would take. Him like moving an army into the natural expansion. Huge supply. So now he doesn't, doesn't just have the economic supply. He's got a significant uh, army supply lead as well. Some And the Zealots able to get... So they're trying to reposition away from the Reavers. Let the Archon go forward. Where did the Reaver go? Did the Reaver get picked off in this fight? Looks like the Reavers actually on Bonneth's side got picked off pretty rapidly. But it's still overwhelming amount of troops. GG. We're going to a game seven. Absolutely on the edge here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.